Hello and welcome. Today you join me down at Check Tree Fishery just on the outskirts of Ashford in Kent. Today we're going to be fishing the float rod in the margins for tench, roach, hopefully a few carp. And then we've got the big carp rod out up against the island. Hopefully we're going to bag a few bigger ones using Mosquito Angling's new speed feeder. It's a different way to tie up your PVA bag, different way to present it. But I'll also show you the other things it can do as well. It's not just PVA bags, you can also use it for molded pellets, ground bait around, or if you want, just a standard lead to bolt rig. Absolutely brilliant. But I'm going to concentrate on the float fishing for the moment. I'm going to down a minute. See if we can bag a few fish first. We'll have a look at the tank on the bait later. But for now, let's get fishing. Well, it didn't take long for the speedy feeder to go off. To be honest, I'm not surprised. I'm tugging up pop up smell lovely. It feels like a good carp too. Get in. Whee. Plenty of action in the margins. Plenty of roach. Haven't seen anything tense yet. Be nice to get the first one of the year. Oh, that ain't a bad carp at all, is it? Nice looking mirror. There he is. Well, it do get some stick in it. There we are. I think he's ready for the net. Nice looking mirror for our troubles. How about that? Well, a little bit too big to put on the uh, to put on my lap and show you, so I'll get him over on that and hunt, hunt look at that and uh, take a quick look at him and I'm slipping back. There we are, there's the culprit, speedy feeder, full short hook length, and we'll uh, take a closer look at the rig later. But, um, let's get him up. Have a quick look at him. There we are. Nice little chunky mirror carp. Six pounds one on the scales. That's the first fish I've had on the speedy feeder. It's only been out there five minutes. And so far, the result's really good. Got some lovely colours in the tail there. This is my first carp of the year. I haven't been able to get out much, so it might be small, but I'm happy with it. We're going to get her back. Speedy Peter out against the island again, and hopefully, we'll get a few more, maybe some bigger ones. We certainly hooked into something nice on the float rod. It's always nice to get a bend in this rod. I'm not sure what it is yet. This one come on a worm. What have we got? Just to drag a little bit. He's still going. Come on, you little blighter. Let's go. Where are you? If it's fighting like this, I'll probably say it's a carp. Got a lovely bend in this rod. If you're looking to do a bit of float fishing and you want a nice rod for commercials, I can highly recommend this. It's the uh, leader 10 foot float rod. 
It's a bargain at only 20 pounds as well. So I know there's a lot of upscale market rods in the 50s and 100s that you know will equally work as well. But if you don't have a lot of money to spend, 20 pounds, it's handling it quite well to be honest. is a slippery common which ain't too bad is it oh gone over me other line yeah, he's off yeah come on cool he's liking going over the other line turn that alarm Going a wee bit of a tangle with the other line, but I'm sure we can get that out once he's in the net. Here he is. Hey, lovely. Right, I'm going to sort out this kerfuffle of a tangle and we'll get him on the mat. Here we are. Nice little five pound, two ounce common caught on a dendrobean worm. Obviously likes the taste of molasses and betaine. But let's get him back quick, get some more in the bank. Okay then, so let's have a quick look at what we're using today. For the float setup, it's basic 10 foot leader float rod. Got a five pound main line on that. We're using a Drenum pole chucker today. A couple of shots just to keep it on the line. Just a couple more shots down the line just to get it on the bottom and away from all the nuisance fish. And using a size 12 Dren Super Specialist. And for bait, just basically using sweet corn, dendrobean mag uh, dendrobeaners, maggots, casters, and for feed, ground bait wise, using just standard breadcrumb. And what I've done is I've added some sweet corn, some of our micro pellets to it, and some of our hemp seed. I've added the sweet corn juice and the hemp juice to the mix itself. But the star of the show today is this. I'm sure you all know what molasses is. Very thick, sticky, treacle-like goo. Look at that. But the big difference between this molasses and others is we've added betaine to this one. So this is molasses and betaine and it's really working well for the carp today and um, when the tench switch on properly I'm sure it's going to work for them and the bream. We've also got a couple of others in the range. We've got molasses and chilli, molasses and hemp, molasses and GLM and molasses and halibut. And I'm sure they'll do well but this one at the moment is doing particularly well. Molasses and betaine really bringing them in. So very happy with that. So that's the float setup. Just take this away. And now we'll have a quick look at the carp setup. Here we are. Basic 12 foot, two and three quarter pound leader carp fishing rod. 12 pound main line. And on the business end here, got 12 pound braid and this is a mozzie hook from mosquito angling now what's the difference between this hook and the higher end ones absolutely boggle there is no difference in its performance whatsoever these are really sharp really strong the only difference between these ones and the higher end ones is these ones are a lot cheaper and I mean a lot cheaper, I mean virtually half the price of what you're paying for the top end ones. It's ridiculous. And I'm, I'm happy with them, they've really been working well. Sharp, straight to the point, it's a hook, but you're not forking out the backside for them. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the bait that we're using today are two of them. We've got 
pink fluoros in attraction, which is tiger nut and maple flavour, and then we've got yellow fluoros in Mark One, which is plum and shellfish. And both of these have caught today, both of them doing really well. Uh, won't be too long before we actually release these to the public, so I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with these. Now, here's the interesting part. The Mosquito Angling Speedy Feeder. Now, this looks exactly like any other type of feeder. Now on the back, you have your weight, and that can be removed. And heavier weight or a lighter weight can be attached with the aid of Sticky Tack. And Sticky Tack is really strong. I mean, when it's underwater, it's not going anywhere. This will stay on. And the great thing is, is you can add the Sticky Tack to the lead itself and add another lead if you really want a heavy heavy lead, nice bolt rig. That'll definitely do the job. Now, let's have a look. What have I been doing today? I'm just gonna have a little search in my bag quickly. There it is. Now, when you buy one of these, it comes with these attachments. And basically, all you do is clip that in. There we are. Now it looks like a pellet feeder. And these will fit most of the moulds out there, the Drenums, the Gurus, this will fit them. And like I say, I'm sure you all know how to do this. Put your bait in, put your, uh, put your feed in, put your mould in, squeeze it down. Lovely tidy presentation, nice and quick, gets you out there. But that's not what I'm using today, so we're going to remove that part. And it's very simple to remove, you can see the little clips here. If you just squeeze with both fingers, that'll slide off nice and easy really is easy. Basically what I'm doing today is using the PVA bags. Now this elasticated strap is essential for what I'm doing today and all of them come with this. And all I do is I've made up some PVA bags at home. And it's got our micro pellets in it and it's also got our fatal attraction salmon oil in it. Now unlike conventional PVA bagging you put your lead and your hook bait all into the bag, you make it up on the bank and you cast it out. But if you're a match fisherman or you've only got a couple of hours fishing and you need speed, make a couple of these up before you go fishing the night before. Basically all you do, lift up the elasticated strap, squeeze that in there, just like that. And that elasticated band We'll keep that bag there during the cast. It won't go anywhere. I've been really hitting it hard to see if it will come off. It won't come off. And then all you do is you just put your hook in the bag like that. And obviously, when it goes into the water, your bag will break down, your pellets will release, covering up the feeder. Your hook bait will be sitting pretty in the middle of some feed. And you, no doubt you'll get a bite. These are absolutely fantastic. The hooks are brilliant. Speedy feeder is fantastic. There's a web address for mosquito angling going across the screen right now if you're interested in having a look at these and some more information. I can highly recommend them myself and I'll be using these throughout the rest of the season for carp, tench and when the river opens I'll be using these for barbel. That'll be interesting to see what happens with them. Well now that I've bored you with all the technical side I, uh, I think it's back to the fishing. semi nice fish on the float rod. Not sure what it is just yet. It's not playing like a carp. But I could be wrong. It could be a very small carp, but I'm really hoping it's a tench. What are you? Let's have a wee look at you. Boy, oh, just don't want to come up. <laughs> what are you? Come on, let's have a look. No? Go on, Bennett. Oh, I do love light tackle fishing. Oh no, it's a carp. It's a, a small little scaly mirror. Oh, look at him.
Oh, he's a pretty little fish. Nice bit of coloration to him. Oh, he's oh, a pretty fish. It's only a small one, but he's a very pretty looking fish. Very pretty. He's going to grow up to be an absolute stunner he is, isn't he? Look at that. He's got a scale missing here, but I'll go through. Very nice looking fish. That's a 20. Yeah, I think I'll come back for that. <laughs> Well, one last final crack of the whip. The float rod's gone again. I think we'll call it a day after this one. Had some cracking fishing today. They had 60 plus roach. Probably the same again in skimmers. Got my first tench of the season, only a small one. They had loads of carp. on the float rod and on the cart rod. Baits are doing really well. I'm gonna finish up with a nice mirror cart. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want any more information on the baits we're testing or the baits that we have available at the moment, uh, there's a web address link in the description. If you want any more information on the products that Mosquito Angling have, again the link is in the description. Do go onto our Facebook page, give us a like, again the link is in the description. But that's just it now. All done, all finished, sun's going down, time to go home. So until the next time, tight lines and best fish use.